Alrighty, hey guys, just want to make another video and uh, with tonight's video, as you guys can see here, me and Charlotte, we just received the handy gym, which is pretty cool. And uh, so what we want to do is we want to do an honest review on this product. And just before we get started, me and Charlotte, we really want to thank the handy gym company. They sent us a really nice message saying that behind products like this, there are real people. And we also want to thank all the handy gym users that support this channel, even though you guys know that me and Charlotte, we use Max Pros instead. Does that make sense, right? So anyway, let's get into it. Right, so with the hand gym, you guys need to realize that it comes with different discs, right? You've got blue discs, yellow discs, and red discs. The red discs here are the heaviest ones. They've got up to 220 pounds, um, but they only give you 40 kilos or 88 pounds of eccentric force. So you've got to keep that in mind. Uh, and, and the yellow ones are the lighter ones, and the blue ones are sort of in between. And of course, you can mix the discs up, kind of like a DJ. Do <laughs> you see what I'm saying, right? Now, there's two things I want to mention, right? The first point is that the eccentric phase on this, guys, is so strong, you're going to get one hell of a workout. So if you're looking at bodybuilding, you absolutely can. I can confirm that to you. You can bodybuild to a very large extent on this device. I'm going to prove how strong the eccentric phase is by doing a squat, and we're going to do that in a sec. And the second thing is I want to mention is that there's a big learning curve with this device. You guys need to understand that, right? You're going to see me fiddle with a rope quite a lot, that's what I'm meaning, okay? There's a learning curve to it, and it also makes a lot of noise, which means that you need to be patient with this device, and if you're going to train with it, I highly recommend that you train with it um, outside, or if you own your own home, maybe inside a garage or something like that. Does that make sense? I'm trying to say shout. So anyway, let's get into it. I'm going to show you what it's like trying to perform a squat on the handy gym. So what I'm going to do first, I'll explain this. When I pull this carabiner out, you need to set the eccentric recoil point. Basically what I've noticed is that the taller you are, I'm six feet tall, the higher the point needs to be. This is just something that you need to figure out for your own body. Does that make sense, Charlotte? Yeah. Right? So I'm gonna pull this up here. Like this. And I'm gonna connect it to the carabiner on, I'm go a little bit higher actually. There we go. On my belt, and I'm just gonna lock this off. Now at this point here, I'm going to charge it up, okay? That's what I'm doing here. And at the moment it's getting very, very tight, and I can feel it. Like so. And now the key is, is that you need to catch the eccentric phase. Um, and you guys, like I said, I'm not an expert, I just got this, so I'm still learning, okay? But here we go. tell that um, the eccentric phase um, is not set correctly like I'm still learning how to uh, catch it correctly but when you do catch it which I've done it a few times holy mac okay it's extremely strong and uh, you can already see there it's already taken the breath out of me <laughs> so anyway guys this is an absolutely fantastic device there's a big learning curve okay it's just at like once it's going to take a few months to master this because you're going to figure out in the end okay we need, where do i need to set the rope to the exact point in order to do a squat does that make sense where do i need to set the rope in order to do bicep curls and once you figure out that holy mac you're going to have an eccentric phase so strong you're going to bodybuild to a very large extent with this device so anyway guys this is our initial review of the handy gym we will be doing like a comparison between the handy gym and the max pro later on and what my thoughts are after I've learned to, uh, after I've become an expert or learned how to train effectively with this machine. So anyway, have a good one. See Bye. ya.